Sounds good. Hi, everyone. My name is Tigran. I'm the founder of AML Incubator, a fractional compliance outsourcing firm. Um, I would be talking about the AML compliance and blockchain technology today. So um, before we start, I just want to mention that uh, uh, the content provided today should not be deemed as legal advice. I will be sharing information based on my individual experiences and therefore can be different based on the size and complexity of your organization. Kindly meet me in the booth, we are in the corner there on this floor, um, and we can assess what's going on with your organization and tailor it to your specific needs. So, um, you know, panel before this, they were talking about compliance, and uh, I agree with everything they say, it's very wonderful, they are the uh, leading compliance professionals in Canada. Uh, from my side, I just want to make sure that I add that compliance is not merely a legal requirement uh, for fintech businesses or any businesses in general. Um, it's fundamental to operational integrity. Uh, it involves adhering to AML laws and regulations designed to prevent illicit income generation and its integration to the financial system. This framework is vital for maintaining the financial industry's integrity and preventing the exploitation of the financial systems for criminal activities. Now, um, challenges of AML compliance. The main one that I actually see usually is actually cost, cost of compliance. A lot of companies, startups, uh, early stages companies, they cannot just afford it. That's the main thing. And um, I got some data here. Uh, in uh, uh, 2021, the cost of compliance was $213 billion. So it's a bit of money, okay? Now, a couple of things that we need to mention. Emerging technologies in crypto space have been consistently disruptive. I love disruptive technology, but so does the criminals, okay? The advancement of crypto in, in Web3 democratized access to financial services, but they did the same thing for illicit actors. A Couple of things we need to mention uh, and compare here is, is, is the following. So the old school traditional finance and the new technologies in finance, which is crypto, fintech, blockchain, and all the fun stuff. So the old school traditional finance, slow to change. It's slow to improve, it's slow to adopt. Now, according to the UN, an estimated $1.6 trillion per year, or a bit less than, uh, than 3% of the overall money that is going back and forth, were linked to actually illicit funds. Okay, that's a lot of money. Now, uh, New School, which is blockchain, crypto, all the fun stuff, it's constantly changing, it's rapidly adopting, uh, approving, sorry, and actually routinely adopting. With the advancements in the blockchain space, adaptation and changes happen significantly faster. Uh, there are many reasons for that, some of them to do with um, the savviness, of tech savviness of the people who run this, which is pretty cool. Now, criminal organizations rarely default to crypto for their malicious activity. This might be shocking for some of you, uh, because the tools that we have to combat this activity are as advanced as the new technology, okay? It is estimated that less than half a percent of crypto is used in illicit activity. So it's significantly less than traditional finance. Now, new school compliance. It's again um, constantly changing, rapidly improving, and routinely adopting. When it comes to the... Um, Old school compliance, it's not the same. It's actually very slow to change. It's expensive to uh, do the change and sometimes it's even impossible for some of the financial institutions. Now the core challenges and opportunities, um, I would like to talk about this a bit. Now um, the most important thing here is we need to acknowledge that crypto as is, as a technology, the blockchain technology um, is pretty open. It's on a public ledger. So, collection of information can be collected upon request, minimizing correspondence with third parties, almost instantaneous access, and networks can be monitored. We can go back and uh, even trace what Satoshi Nakamoto's wallets, you know? 
Now, the challenges when it comes to the new technology, the new compliance, is that, that it has a lot of uncertain or inconsistent regulatory frameworks worldwide. Regulatory requirements are developed with frameworks being updated continuously. They constantly change them. Uh, there are methods also to upsecure the source of funds, like smurfing, network hopping, and, and so on, uh, that are unique to blockchain, that is actively used by illicit actors. Uh, another thing is the pseudonymous nature of the transactions. We can see everything that is happening on the wallet, but we don't know who that is, okay? Um, I know it's the core of blockchain um, being, uh, you know, hidden, who are you? But at the end of the day, this is a small challenge with, from the perspective of compliance, okay? I'll show you a quick case study uh, for you. Um, I'm just going to skip reading this, but I just want to show you. When it comes to regular uh, finance, sometimes it's very difficult to catch the illicit actor. If you're using cash, there is no way for me to know where the cash came from, uh, uh, how they changed the hands. But look at this. Small investigation, okay? From one wallet to the other one, and then at the end, uh, three hops away, it ends up with a wallet previously identified to be belonging to a ISIS. ISIS is a, a terrorist organization, right? So this is a $7 investigation to be quite honest seven dollar okay we did not know what's going on we just saw that seven dollar ended up with the wallet previously identified to be belonging to a uh, terrorist organization we sent a report the tpr report is called in canada and uh you know uh, uh agencies uh, uh in canada took action okay this is an example of how robust it can be like we can catch this Right, uh, having a company involved in Web3, crypto blockchain space can be very difficult from a regulatory perspective. These are very modern problems that require very modern solutions. ML Incubator, or how we call ourselves AMLI, uh, is a team of blockchain-friendly compliance experts. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, we all actually use blockchain uh, daily. We are the uh, fun of, uh, big fan of the technology. And uh, ML Incubator, uh, at ML Incubator, we specialized in providing robust AML compliance solutions. We can be your Camlo, we can do transaction monitoring, enhance due diligence, we can build your program from the scratch, uh, we can uh, fix the program that you have that does not work, okay? And we can do all the regulatory work uh, that you require, you have obligations with, or you don't have obligations, but you voluntarily want to do that, we can still do that, we can help you out. So, why ML Incubator? Very simple, we're cost effective. Uh, instead of hiring someone in-house, you can just hire us. We have the expertise, specifically in crypto. We know how to, it works, we understand it. Uh, we know how to navigate it. Uh, we do have the flexibility, this is very important. Let's assume you're a startup and things do, doesn't go well. You don't need to fire your internal compliance officer. If you have us, you can simply end our contract, okay? It's very much giving you the flexibility to do two things. Minimize the, the costs for you, minimize the damage in case something is not going well, or you can actually expand and scale. Uh, we are one of the teams that can easily scale your compliance department really quick, okay? Now, um, these are some of the services that uh, are outlined here that if you need some help with that we can assist. So if uh, you have a company that requires RPA registration, Retail Payments Activities Act, you know, we can assist you, we can help you with registration of your money services businesses. Uh, we offer the Camlo services, which is the most popular one when you simply outsource uh, the Camlo service to us. We run your department and we act as your chief compliance officer or chief anti-money laundering officer. Uh, we can help you with policy development. Uh, we train you. We have a robust training in place. Um, we can do enhanced due diligence and compliance audits. This is Amli. Uh, I will stay here for a couple of minutes if you have any questions. Also, we have a booth there called ML Incubator. Please come in and say hi. Thank you very much.